close the curtain because it's kind of glaring. The window can stay open, it's just the, the light. <coughs> okay, so um, today the first homework was due, <coughs> and I got <coughs> back uh, 23 responses out of 26, so that was pretty good. <coughs> um, but what I'm going to do right now is <coughs> first go over the first homework. And um, so first of all, <coughs> the question, <coughs> see which one is what. OK, the, the question is, um, uh, you should write a paragraph or two about the information architecture organization, <coughs> uh, labeling, <coughs> nav <coughs> navigation, and search. And um, <coughs> so <coughs> I don't know what <coughs> I got to drink something, sorry. <coughs> okay, I'll try it again. Um so well, you have to write something about uh, three websites that you analyzed. Um, you picked one, and then you analyze it. And you have to write <coughs> something about the organization, the labeling, the navigation, and the search. And <coughs> the things you should look for in this is, first of all, when we're talking about organization, um, <coughs> do we, there, there is a, usually an organizational scheme and a system. And so you should analyze whether or not the scheme is exact or inexact. And then you should say, would you see whether it's like alphabetic, uh, chronological, or geographic? Those are examples of exact schemes. And examples of inexact schemes are topic, metaphor, function, or sometimes hybrid schemes. So you should basically say what you see. And it's OK to use pictures. And then um, in terms of system, it's usually either a top-down design or bottom-up, and, and can be a combination of both. So like some of the, the main structure, the main navigation systems of the site may use a top-down scheme, which is a hierarchy. And then you might say what kind of hierarchy this is. So it could be like something that is um, <coughs> very deep or somewhat shallow. And then we have a uh, bottom up, and that can be either um, hyperlinks or tagging. And this is usually something that in, that's involved when creating content for the site. There may be uh, users' contributions to the content of the site, like re like customer reviews, for example. So that would be a sort of an, a bottom up uh, system to content creation. So. Um, so if you're saying something about organization, you should say what kind of scheme, what kind of system it is, and what, what you observe in terms of these types of elements. And then in labeling, there's uh, the, the types of labels are contextual links, headings, in navigation systems. Uh, these are um, to enable, they usually show up on the local navigation pants. And they're, they're helping you to understand what's probably underneath the link like when, you, when you click on the link. So, so these are labels that are usually on the local navigation pane. And then labels that might be in search. These could be labels that are, for example, in the index, that are index terms. Okay, But the index terms themselves are the labels. And they're also used within the searching systems, the index itself. So labeling is what these different headers are called, and what the things are called. <coughs> so you might identify that they use some contextual links for a given example. You might identify that they use some headings, maybe in the global system or in the local uh, navigation system, use some example. And then um, the in-navigation systems, 
Uh, you might say that they use yeah some labels that are for getting around in certain sections of the of the site and then they may use index terms so just identify what's being used and then in the navigation systems we have um, uh, different types of navigation systems. There's global navigation systems that exist on every page on the site. And uh, is, and sometimes people uh, pointed out the other information that appears on every page on the site. But that isn't part of necessarily part of the navigation system. It's just information that's global information. But if it's part of the global navigation system, then it helps you to find things. It's like a global menu that appears on every page of the site. So there's some difference between global content and global navigation systems. And then there's uh, local uh, navigation. This is used on part of the site. It kind of shows you what's nearby. And then it, it, so it doesn't necessarily, like on a local uh, navigation menu would not appear on all of the web pages, just on maybe some of them. And it might be different within <coughs> uh, within, some, within the site. And then, um, so there can be several of these. And then <coughs> the contextual navigation is, uh, would be the in-page links. And it shows what maybe what is related to uh, whatever you're looking at, so it can link this page to another page. And then the <coughs> also with navigation, there's the question of the stress test. Oh, I'm sorry, then there's supplemental navigation aids. And these can be, for example, site maps or indexes or guides. They also help you to get around. <coughs> so navigation systems are what helps you to find where you're going. <coughs> and then the stress test is more like um, what is uh, it's a, it's the the question of where am I now? Can I tell by looking at a page if I hop into the middle of the site where I am? Can I tell what uh, led would have led me to this page? Like what came before it, higher up in the hierarchy, and where would I go if I followed some links on the page? Can I kind of guess? what kind of information I can find in those links. So this is um, a way of evaluating the navigation system to see if it's good at helping you find where you're going. <coughs> and then there's uh, the search. Um, does the site have a, a, a keyword search or not? Maybe it doesn't have one. Uh, if it has a keyword search, uh, is it for the whole site or is it just for some part of the site? Is it for a zone? And then um, uh, is, it, uh, is it like a simple search uh, box, like you can only use one word? Or does it support advanced searches? And if it, does, if it is supporting a search, does it include anything that kind of assists or aids in the search? Like, uh, does it support controlled vocabulary, maybe misspellings of the words or, or synonyms? Uh, does it support thesaurus? Uh, does it have, uh, does it support rule set? This is supposed to be rule set. Um, and, and that's, for example, like Boolean operators and or things like that. So these are the things <coughs> that, um, if like a question like this came up on the exam, these are the kinds of things I would be looking for. And if you're designing a website, these are the kind of questions you should ask yourself. What kind of organization does it have? What kind of labeling, navigation, and search? So, <coughs> so when this, this thing asks, um, uh, write a short report describing your AI site, includes, include, include screenshots. And you should talk about, describe what you find on the site in terms of uh, organization, labeling, navigation, and search. Um, that's the kind of things you would look for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give everybody somebody's paper. <coughs> and I want you to uh, read the paper. 
with these points in mind. And then you should give uh, one point if they talk about uh, each of these points. So if they, it doesn't mean they have to talk about everything, but that they mention some, something of these points. And if you, if you think they answered this, this part correctly. Um, like that means like if you're talking about organization, uh, you should talk about these factors and not be talking about the search. You know, so you have you kind of know the difference between the different elements, and then um, also can give one point for if you think it, it passes. So, uh, so you can give a point from one to five on the on the total score. And if you get no points, if you get zero points, you have to do it again. <laughs> but if you get at least one point, then it's OK. <laughs> so um, I have some that are in uh, Norwegian. And <coughs> everyone should take, I think, two. So you have to pick one that isn't yours. Or pick two that isn't yours. Okay. Pick two that aren't yours. <laughs> Start back. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I gave you one. Pick two that isn't yours. <laughs> and pick two that aren't yours. I can start with that one. <laughs> okay. Just tell me if you get uh, one that's yours. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, give it to me. <laughs> okay. okay, so everybody grades two. So you give it a score from give it a score from one to five, and if there's something that you're taking off for, just write which section you're taking off for. Okay. <laughs> so one is best. No, five is best. Five is best. <laughs> yeah.
also with those pupils. Because I have a document which doesn't have uh, screenshots. It doesn't have to have screenshots. You can have screenshots. So if it's um, if it's uh, if they mention these elements and they describe what's on the page, then that's acceptable. But if like um, you might have to look at the page actually, because it includes screenshots. But um, you can describe things without screenshots sometimes. It's could ask me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. In these two, uh, uh, there are all the image global and local and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't tell anything about what's exact and inexact in this. Okay, but do they talk about the organization scheme? No, not at all. Not at all? Not, okay. not here either. Then it's and uh, uh, mm. it's uh, they don't mention uh, the global. They mention the lo global and local. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's that's uh, okay. I, you don't have to mention everything, but you must mention something. Something, yeah. Yeah. So maybe not every site has <coughs> all of the elements, or maybe they just identified a few things. But uh, if they mention global and local, that's something. Yeah. Okay, but uh, with the schemes, you should have some mention of like whether they use. Uh, maybe they named exactly the, what the scheme was. They didn't call it exact or inexact, but they it's talk. It's nothing mentioned here about. Well, then, uh, then, then that section would not be would get minus point if yeah. there's nothing mentioned. Yeah. So the the idea is that there's not everything is going. Not everyone's responses are perfect. And you're trying to identify where it's missing. Yeah, I also have a question about Moldeos. Mm. In the 2014 version, mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't. There was no local navigation at all. Okay. B because you have you have global, mm -hmm. but can you say is it right that the local is under the global? Yes. Is when you click on that, then you get to the artist page. Yes. Then you, I guess the global is, yeah, the local can be underneath, or they maybe they can. Yeah, they can. Yeah, but it, then this is also, I understand that it, they use a drag down pane, yeah. but this is the stuff that's supposed to be on this page. Yeah. So it's intended to be local. Even if it's not uh, of own. It doesn't uh, have to be visible all the time. No. On the left side. No, it doesn't have to be on the left side. Yeah. But uh, this appears everywhere, <laughs> and uh, it's a ma to give you an overview of the whole site. And this is to give you an overview of what's on this page. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I will uh, give a. Yeah.
ask a few questions. Um, is everyone almost done? can, of course, you don't have to. Uh, so you should write the number you give it, and if there's some points taken off, which section you took off for. Five is the top, is the most points, five. Each section? If it's if it's uh, if it passes, it's a uh, five. Yeah, you get one point for passing. Just that it basically is okay, and then uh, you give uh, one point for each of the sections. Yeah. 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 About that's what I mean. There's four sections, yeah. right? <coughs> the one one point you give if you think it's good enough to pass. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, and then the other. Yeah. So if they get uh, if they get zero points, they don't pass. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's not perfect, but it talks about a lot of things that uh, it misses one Well, point. you can just round up, give them a point, and then uh, you, you really can't go in between. So maybe just give them, a, yeah, just, just pick a number. <laughs> So th this will not affect your grade, but it's going to be you're going to get the feedback from your paper. Will you send an email to each? Uh, I'm going to put a list up. It's on the website. Okay. And um, see. Where is it? Um, on the bottom? No. Oh yeah, approved exercises. Okay, so I'm going to put, this was just an example, but uh, I will put down, and I, and I have different names here now too, so I've been like writing down when people have given me the exercises, and I will put P's in this column if you pass.
is there anyone that gave a five? No. OK. Can you tell me, like, in the best, uh, which, which section was the best and why you think it was the best? Was the, the TOEFL, uh, because uh, I find most of the uh, words you have on the blackboard, mm -hmm. I find them, and uh, I see the connection. In, uh, and it has got the, the picture. OK. So yep. Okay. Um, okay. Is there anyone that um, didn't give a gave a four, but they could give me an, who who thought the organization system was good? Okay. So the problem uh, is that there's not uh, screenshots, but okay. it's focus uh, very good in what we need to know. Okay. It's been discovered and. Okay. So, it, does it give an example of what kind of scheme is used? Or Sorry. Which website was it? Uh, Norway. That no. Okay. And what kind of scheme did they use? Uh, according to this. Yeah. Uh, it consists of topical schemes. Okay. Alphabetically ordered in the mm -hmm. website. Okay. And um, and in the middle of the page, mm -hmm. task oriented. Task oriented. Okay. So there was some hybrid. There was also some other schemes in not just one scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Multiple schemes. Okay. Um, was there anyone that did a good review of the labeling system? So like for the molded jazz site, what kind of labeling system did they use? You can tell it me. Doesn't tell. It doesn't tell? No. Does anyone do the molded jazz site? <coughs> it uses contextual links. Does it use anything else? Like the headings. In the headings. Yeah. What types of headings do they have? Is it um what's the quote of questions? I said that with the request, for example, um press. And you get a heading saying press as well. Mm. So should I click on this one? Yeah. On the left side? I don't know if you so here they have like headings that are um, <coughs> uh, they're topic oriented. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And there's some that are part of the local navigation, and then some of the headings are part of the global navigation. But the headings are the the words that they use themselves, and then this like this is a very large font here, and then they probably have the same font throughout the site. Having looked at it, well, this is probably the same. Uh, 
can you say those are topics? Yes, these yes. are topics. Yes, right. Yeah. Okay. But is it local anyway? These are local. Local, global, uh, yes. But that's the, whether it's local or global, um, yeah, they, they're representing um, Let's see. This is not like that was was this part of the press or the information? I don't even remember. Okay, information. So these are like these are not on the whole site. They're just when you press information, yeah. you get these. Right, these are icons, exactly. And they, they, I don't know, they seem to use a very large font for their top headers. Yeah. And then they use like a, this, the same font throughout the site. And then, um, the, but they're not like consistent about where they place the header. So sometimes they have a picture on the top and sometimes they don't. Um, like this one. So the header is very large, same as the other page, but there's no picture here. And when you go to the other one, well, the information site, um, some, sometimes they have a picture on top. And then you don't actually know that you're here until you scroll down a bit. So. There's some inconsistency in how they have implemented that. Okay, then there's um, navigation. And <coughs> it's kind of hard to separate when we're talking about navigation and labeling because the labels are on the navigation system. The navigation system is intended to help you find where you're going. So you have... Um, Global, local, contextual, and sometimes you have supplemental. So they have a search box here. Uh, that's also that's part of the search. Let me see. They have um, let's see. Hmm. I don't even know if they have any types of guides or site maps yeah okay so not every site uses that and then the stress test well like when we went to this um, information page when we went to the um, here if I was in here I if I came right into here, I'd, I may not have clicked on this yet, so I wouldn't have known that I was here. <coughs> and I didn't know necessarily that this was under information, so. Um, but it's not a very deep site. It's very shallow, so it's not that hard to get around. <coughs> In terms of the search, it's not a large site, so I'm pretty sure it, whenever you search on something, it's for the whole site. Um, so, um, I don't know what's an artist. Um, so, there's a um, link. If you, if I was searching for some group in particular, and it finds, um, it finds, it finds the one I'm looking for. The, there's a band that's called this, but then it also finds things with part of the names. So we might, uh, we know that um, it probably covers the whole site. Uh, it it covers the words that have like the control vocabulary that are close to the the spelling. 
And I don't know if it uses uh, Boolean operators. Mm. <coughs> Probably doesn't do an event search. Or maybe it just um, <coughs> ignores it ignores the stop words. Okay. Yeah. You write in like Ulysses, for example. Ulysses? Ulysses. Just Ulysses. You don't get any part like um, event. I mean, that's the case on the top. On the top? Yeah, event? The first one. Like, yeah, with uh, like articles and that is an event. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's, uh, I guess, it's a way that they're presenting information to help you to understand what you're looking at better. But um, so that's a nice um, feature on the search that they gr they group things. Mm. Okay. So, um, yeah, um, did anyone get a zero? No, that's good. Then uh, what we can do is, um, what we're going to do after this is we're going to sign up for um, exercise number two, because you can work in groups of up to two people. So if you want to work by yourself, you can write your name by yourself. If you want to work with somebody else, you can write your name with somebody else. And um, what I want you to do is like first pass forward all the things that you graded. <coughs> I'll put them on the table here, and then you can pick up your exercise. So I'm not putting the grades up on the web page. I'm just putting up that everybody passed. Okay. So every, everything that I've received has gotten the pass. OK, we're going to take a break now. So let's start this. <coughs>